Hey, it's Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery here, and I train contractors how to not waste time to exact mate and how to get paid what you're worth. And today I'll be talking about a little bit of a basic topic. You might think it's basic for sketching the interior and roofs, but I have shown this to many contractors over the years, and most of them said, wow, I didn't know that that's the way you're supposed to be sketching. So I wanted to make this video to make it really clear on the fastest way you can enter the rooms with more accuracy and how if you are going for a certification exam with exact wear, so whether you're level one, two, or three, you're going for those exams, a lot of times the sketch or the practical part of the exam can be failed because you're not accurate enough, and I'll show you why. So let's take a look on how you should be entering the measurements for the roof and the interior sketch. So here I am in sketch and I'm on the roof level. As you can see, I created a roof level and a main level was already there, added the roof level. And just to illustrate, let's pull a roof in here. I'm just gonna left click, hold and drag a random roof. But then I wanna resize this roof to 40 by 25. So what most people will do is they'll use what are called the handles. So if I want to affect this dimension here, in my brain, when I learned Xactimate, I wanted to use this handle, and that is incorrect. And most of you that have been using the program for a while know that. If you're new to Xactimate and you haven't really sketched before, it seems intuitive to new users that you would click this handle right here to affect the 37 foot three dimension. And unfortunately, that's incorrect. You have to use the handle that is catty corner or diagonal to the dimension that you want to affect. So the handle, and they're called handles because you pull them out like this, so that would be my north or south dimension, and my east and west dimension would be controlled by the right or left side handles, right? That's why they are called handles. And when you think in that terminology of handles, if I want to affect my length here, I need to use a right or left side handle. So I can left click, hold, and drag out to that 40 foot. And as you can see, it's taking me a little bit of time, but there we go. I used the right-hand side handle to affect the length of this roof, not that handle right beside it, which is, to me seems more intuitive. I don't know, I'm kind of an artist's brain, creatives are crazy, but <laughs> it may not be your case. That may be intuitive that you need to go over to the catacorny handle here. But if you can think of it, it's, it's they're called handles because we're doing this. So if I need to affect, the width of that roof, we're going to use a top or bottom or north or south handle to pull this out to the 25 foot. Now we're gonna get a little bit squished for space because my I'm zoomed in a little bit. Uh, and that's why using these handles with a conjunction of the mouse is a little bit cumbersome. So what I just did is not what I would teach you to do, okay? So I actually would teach you to hard key. That's one of my new coaches taught me that language. I've never known how to say it so succinctly. We're going to hard key in the dimensions rather than willy nilly trying to pull this handle out to the correct dimension. We're actually going to hard key it. Now, why do we do that? Why am I teach? Why am I saying that this isn't a great way of doing it? Well, in the background, Xactimate is rounding. So if I click on this 25 feet today, it says 25 foot even, but the next sketch I make, or if I switch computers and go to, um, I'm on an MSI right now, if I go over to Adele, and if I look at these dimensions, you will see that it's actually rounding up, and that's my fault, user error there, it's actually rounding up to a quarter inch or down a half inch. So you'll see it won't say 40 foot, it'll say 40 foot half, it's half an inch, it's doing this rounding in the background. So to avoid that, I always teach in my classes to hard key in the dimensions. And this probably happens more on a room. So I'll just throw a room in here. Let's say we wanted this room to be 29 feet. If I use that right hand handle, right? So we're pulling out this dimension. And it's nice if you click on the handle, they'll give you a nice little arrow. We'll left click, hold and drag out to 29 feet. And there we go. Again, this using your mouse will take you more time and it's less accurate. So if I click on that handle again and click on the dimension, of course today, uh, it's not rounding on my MSI computer, but normally you will see like an eighth of an inch or a half inch will come in there. Let's say that we wanted 17 for, let's say 19 foot for the width. And if you click on that dimension, 
there could be something that's hanging out there as well. So you want to always hard key or type in your dimensions if you want to be as super accurate. Now today, of course, it's acting fine and we're not seeing that rounding happening per se with the measurements. But for example, here you can see there's the rounding on the rafters that is happening. And the uh, you, that's the example that I'm trying to put forth is usually it looks more like this. 13 foot two is what it says, but the actual is 13 foot two with an eighth of an inch and it's rounding down, okay? So to avoid that in any of your dimensions, I advocate typing it in. So if I wanna affect my length, I will use click on a right or left hand handle first. So let's say we want this to be a 35 foot roof in length, I'm going to left click on my handle, then I'm going to click on the dimension. So in Xactimate, anywhere you see a measurement or a dimension in blue, that means it's able to be edited. For some reason, the width of the roof is always able to be edited. I don't have to click on a handle first. And I'm not sure when that changed Xactimate, it's been a couple of versions ago, but I can go ahead and just go in here and type in 19 foot if I wanted and then hit my enter key and that will automatically resize. Now you'll notice that the 40 foot here is still in gray, it is not in blue. So if it's not in blue, you can't click on it and edit it. So I need to tell Xactimate, okay, I wanna move out to the right and I'm going to go ahead and move out, let's say to 45. I'm then gonna type in 45 and hit my enter key and that means it'll go to the exact the 45 foot mark and none of this play of half inch, quarter inch, what have you should happen in those dimensions. So if we go back to the example here, let's call this the living room. You'll see here that the dimensions themselves are really easy to hand enter or type in rather than left click holding and dragging. Let's say I wanted this living room uh, to go back to 20 feet. If I'm going to use my mouse and left click hold and drag back to 20 feet, not only will it not be as accurate that may do that rounding, it also takes a bit of time for my little hand to arrive at exactly 20 feet. So it's wasting time and may not be as accurate. So I'm gonna click on that handle again. We're going to use the interior dimensions this time. And I'm gonna type in 20 and then just hit my enter key. And that will bring us to the exact dimension on the interior of the room. And if we wanna affect the width, I would then use a north or south handle, right? So if you're a beginner, just remember, these are the handles that control your width. These are the handles that control your length. All right, so then we're gonna click on one of these handles here to affect the width. And let's say that I wanted it to be a 16 foot six. I'd use 16 apostrophe six, okay? 16 apostrophe six, and if I hit my enter key, it will turn it into 16 foot six inches. So there's another tip for you. 16 apostrophe will turn it into the 16 foot six. I hope you found that helpful. I know it seems like a beginner or basic topic, but I think there's a lot of people out there still dragging their handles and not using the hard key option. So wasting time and not being as accurate. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Of course, always put in the comments below what you think is useful out of this video. And of course, if you'd like to support this channel, it is like gold for me if you would like and subscribe. So always invite you to do that. If you want more information on the training that I offer for contractors, go over to xm8mastery.com. We usually have some sort of giveaway or webinar running that you can go and register and see more about my training. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. Hope you have a great week in your business and I will see you next week.